Gautam Buddha gave the message of love to the whole world. In his words, the whole world can be conquered with love. Through love, one can win everyone's heart without any effort. What we ourselves want from the people of this world is love or hate. We all want love. but we do not understand the feeling of love love arises from the will of the mind but our ignorance turns that love into hatred and jealousy gautam buddha's disciple anand went to a village one day for alms he got very thirsty there There was a well in that place where he went to drink water. There was a young woman whom Anand asked to give water to. At first the young woman agreed. But after a while he took back his water jar and refused to give water. Then Anand said, "What happened?" Why did you not give me water? Then the young lady said, I am from a low caste. If you drink water from my hand, you will be devoid of your caste. Then Anand said, Don't worry about this. Just give me water. Offering water is an act of virtue. Our Gurudev Gautam Buddha said, that there is no such thing as a high and low caste in this world we are all equal at this the young woman was very happy and gave water to anand then she left from there but as she went she was thinking about anand she liked the thought of anand very much Anand was also very handsome to look at and his speech was also very beautiful anyone who sees him and listens to him will fall in love with him thinking about anand the young woman felt a weakness for anand she used to stand by the well every day and wait for anand Anand used to pass by that well for alms and every day the young lady gave him water to drink till now the young lady only wanted to see Anand but slowly her desire started to increase one day Anand did not come as she waited the young woman became impatient and worried Finally she left for Gautam Buddha's hermitage in search of Anand her worries were relieved when she went to the ashram and saw Anand she said to Anand why didn't you go to the village to ask for alms today Anand said today i had some work in my ashram then the young woman said to Anand You do not discriminate. So if I ask you to eat at my house, will you go? Then Anand said, I can tell this only if I ask my Guru Gautam Buddha. If I get permission, I will definitely go. The young woman was very happy to hear this and left from there. The young woman did not sleep thinking about this all night. She started thinking that she was in love with Anand and that Anand was in love with her. That's why he agreed to come to her house for dinner. Anand went to the young lady's house the next day after getting Gautam Buddha's permission. The young woman cooked a variety of dishes for Anand. Anand ate all that food. Finally, the young lady said to Anand, "You do not discriminate against castes. 
So may I tell you what's on my mind? Anand said. Of course, tell me what you have to say. The young lady said. I fell in love with you. I want to marry you. Will you marry me? At this, Anand said to the young lady, Love is not a wrong thing. Love should be for everyone. But I can't marry you. I am a monk. Marriage is not my goal in life. I want to be engaged only in the service of Gautam Buddha. The young woman said, I'll not stop you from serving Buddha, but I will also serve Buddha with you. Anand said, What you are thinking is not possible. Said this, Anand left from there. This love became the cause of the young woman's suffering. She became desperate to get Anand at any cost. When this came to the ears, of the young lady's mother, she gave an idea to her daughter to get Anand out of the ashram. She said, You should trust your mother. Anand will be yours. You invite Anand to eat again. To his food, I'll add a medicine that will make him faint. Then the young woman asked her mother whether it would be okay. Her mother said, there is no such thing as right and wrong in love. The young lady liked her mother's words. And the next day, she again went to Gautam Buddha's ashram and said to Anand, Are you angry with me? Anand said, No, I am not angry with you. I am not angry with anyone. And you haven't done anything to make me angry. Then the young lady said, Okay, then will you receive my invitation again? Anand said, I will definitely go with Buddha's permission. The next day, Anand went to the young lady's house with Buddha's permission. The young lady cooked Anand many different dishes like before, but one of them was laced with a medicine that causes one to faint. Anand got fainted as soon as he ate it. Then the mother of the young woman said to the young woman, Go now, get married according to the Gandharva style. The Gandharva style is a way to marry on the basis of the mutual consent of the couple only. The young lady said, I don't feel it right. Then her mother said, if you think so much, you will never get Anand as your own. The young lady went into the room and got ready for the wedding. Anand came to his senses as soon as she went to Anand with the garland. Anand saw the young lady standing in front of him, dressed in wedding attire with a garland in her hand. The young lady was startled by the sudden return of his consciousness. Anand pushed the young lady away from him and got up. The young lady did not get a chance to say anything to Anand. She then said to her mother, For you, Anand went away from me. I feel guilty. I should never have done that. You have committed a great sin. Until now, he used to drink water from my hand, but from now on he will not even look back at me. The young woman thought about this all night and began to suffer from mental anguish. She could not sleep all night. The next day before dawn, she rose to Gautam Buddha's ashram and went to Buddha and said, O oh Buddha, I have committed a great sin. You punish me for my sin. Gautam Buddha then told her, Anand had told me all about you. You have committed no sin. You are in love. Then the young lady said, 
but anand did not love me now he must hate me then buddha said anand does not hate you anand hates no one he loves everyone he loves you too in fact you still have no real idea about love the love that brings mercy brings peace around and brings joy but on the contrary the love that arouses anger in the mind and arouses lust brings cruelty and takes away the individuality of the mind torments the mind and compels one to do wrong is not love it is only desire anand still has peace in his mind he has joy in his heart and he is as happy today as he was on seeing you the first day he still loves you the same way he loved you the first day there is no pain no suffering and no anger in his mind he has no sense of guilt his love is real but on the contrary you look at yourself do you really have love in your mind is there peace in your mind is there joy hasn't your love done you any wrong how happy you used to be but now you see only pain in your mind so how do you say that you love then the young woman fell at the feet of gautam buddha she said o oh buddha forgive me i did not understand love give me a place in your ashram too i want to know what real love is friends we all love we want love from father mother brother sister friends and lovers but do we really understand the love we all run after in reality what we think of as love is actually nothing but desire if your love teaches you selfishness then you know it is not love real love does not teach to take away but to give it is said that a mother loves her child selflessly a mother can sacrifice her life smiling for the sake of her child despite all the suffering she does not allow her child to be affected but does that mother have the same love for other children if the answer is yes then that is true selfless love and if the answer is no then that love is not real it is selfishness there is no place for lust desire or selfishness in a real love good luck to all thank you very much